everybody, welcome to another video. My name's Layton, if you're new here. This is gonna be a day in my life vlog. It is currently 10.55 a.m. Today is Wednesday. I spent my morning teaching a dance to some kids. So I did that 8.30 to 10.45 and now I'm about to head back home. And then I've got lots of other stuff I gotta get done today. But yeah, I've been doing this for the past three weeks. This is my last day today, actually. My last week, me and my friend Reagan, we used to teach at a studio in West Memphis across the bridge. If y'all watched my vlogs back then and you remember that at all, but then the studio owner moved and so that studio ended but they still had this program with this school where like three weeks a year they partner up with the studio that we used to teach at and we teach dance during their PE class because technically this is like a performing arts school it's been really fun except for today honestly there was a sub today so like the PE teacher is usually still here and um, she's very like you know stern with them because they can be crazy and today there was a sub so they were already acting bad and then something else was in the air like they were on another level, they were being so, well, the older kids were being so rude and disrespectful about not wanting to dance. And then the younger kids were just being, like I've never experienced kids being that out of control. Like I was screaming at them to be quiet. So now, honestly, I'm mentally exhausted, but I'm gonna go home, eat some breakfast slash lunch, and we're gonna have a good rest of the day. breakfast slash lunch. I actually have not made this in a while. I used to make it all the time in my vlogs. An English muffin toasted with the Nancy's probiotic cream cheese, some tomatoes, micro arugula, and then salt, pepper, and this isn't everything but the bagel seasoning because I couldn't go to Trader Joe's, but it's like a something similar. And then a bowl of my organic yogurt with blueberries and granola honey and cinnamon it's time for an afternoon coffee i just need the extra caffeine right now and also i change i have the same pants on but then i just put on this little like long sleeve cute hoodie situation i got this from halara like about a year ago i'll try and find a link for you guys but then these pants are what i'm obsessed with ah, they're these brown flare leggings and it's like a ribbed material it's got the cross waist i honestly think i'm gonna wear these on thanksgiving because because you know with a sweater you could dress it up a little bit and then it'd still be comfy plenty of stretch to be able to eat all the food you want on thanksgiving and they actually sent me some other pants too that i've been loving lately literally been wearing them every day so i'm gonna show you all those in a little bit but first coffee just using this melozio nespresso pod That is delicious also. I love this cute little mug that my littles got me, my Grizz Girl Littles. Love y'all. Before I vlogged anything else, I just wanted to have a quick little life update slash just live chat about stuff, about nursing stuff specifically. I can just tell I'm in another transition season right now or I'm about to be in another transition season with nursing. Yeah, if you've been watching me from the beginning, you know, it's been a whole roller coaster from thinking I was done for good to liking it again and all sorts of stuff. But um, yeah, you'll know I've been PRN for a while in the NICU, but in my last vlog, which I think is actually gonna be up after this vlog, so y'all have not seen this yet, but I talked about how I was interviewing. I vlogged when I got back from an interview for a nursing position, and I'll let y'all hear the details about that once that vlog goes up. But I'm, I'm gonna keep my current job, my PRN at the NICU, like that's not changing. I've been PRN there and I plan on staying PRN there, but I just have been craving more like structure and stability lately. I don't know, I've just been craving a regular job. Or I don't know, just like a more structured schedule it just hit me too because i have tried to pick up at work several times and like one time i got canceled and then one time i couldn't even sign up and just like the inconsistency of all that and then like the last shift i had was very stressful i'm just exploring different things i also 
have been looking into working at like a surgery center. So let me know if you work somewhere like that or like what you think if you like that. I feel like I've been doing bedside nursing in the NICU for two and a half years, almost three years it feels like, which is crazy. But I'm just getting to that point now, like I have nothing to prove. I have nothing to prove. I don't wanna be stressed. I don't wanna be anxious. I don't wanna do hard stuff. Like obviously hard stuff to an extent, but what I'm saying is I don't have anything to prove. I don't wanna do the crazy, hard, stressful stuff that gives me anxiety. Like I just, I don't care anymore. I just want stability and structure. I wanna have a routine, wake up, go to work at a decent hour, come home, still be able to have like a regular afternoon, cook dinner, see people, get stuff done, be able to come home and work on some content, have every weekend off, have holidays off and all of that. So, and then like still have the stability income wise as well of like a regular job and then have my PR in on the side and then my social media and YouTube on the side. And I feel like when I have more of a structured schedule, it actually motivates me more and inspires me more in a weird way when I have that routine of things. I also don't know if it has anything to do with the age I'm at. I'm 25 right now. Yeah, I just feel like I'm about to be at another transition season of life. Also, a big thing is I'm gonna be 26 soon, which is crazy, but that means I'm gonna be off of my parents' insurance because when I went PRN, I had to get back on theirs because obviously I don't have it at work anymore. I'm not trying to pay for independent insurance. So that's another thing I'm trying to figure out with life right now. Fun, real life adult stuff. But yeah, I just wanted to kind of chit chat with y'all about that. Let me know if you can relate or I don't know, just your thoughts or if you have any experience with that. I was about to sit down and send in my resume to some jobs. So it was on my mind. I just wanted to update y'all. I'm about to apply to some jobs right now. Surgery centers, um, PACU. I've heard great things about PACU. I would I'd want to do like a surgery center PACU though, not like hospital PACU. And I just finally have accepted regardless of what additional job I would get. Like I'm gonna have to relearn stuff for a while. I was like, no, I don't wanna like work anywhere new or get any new additional job. I was like, I don't have the brain energy to relearn all this stuff because NICU is so specific, it's its own specialty. But finally, I just accepted. I'm gonna have to relearn anyway. It's not a big deal. I learned everything I learned in NICU on the job. I'm capable, it's okay. Like I'm capable of learning new stuff. I'm capable of relearning adults if it were for PACU or I'm capable of learning skin. I'm capable of learning surgery. And if it's gonna provide me a better work-life balance, it's worth it. I need work-life balance. So yeah, that's what I'm on the hunt for. But that's the cool thing about nursing is there's just, there's so many options and different things you can do, which I'm so grateful for. I will keep you guys updated on all of that, but that's my little update and rant about nursing stuff. What? I like that shirt, V. Kai okay, gives me to do a what's in her bag. Because I have a thousand jobs, I always have multiple bags. And you always have to be prepared. Pretty. So you have your rhinestones. You have your rhinestones. Nice. Water. So Water. Stay hydrated. Planner. Because oh, very important when you have four jobs. <laughs> Some deodorant. Love. Baby food. Extra top. And so much more that I cannot Okay, I love that. Thank you for sharing. Have you been stoning for some? I have. I have to stone. Oh. 25 classes. Ooh, if anyone wants to help I like sure. Crystal AB. Crystal AB is my favorite. Right here, baby. <gasps> Crystal Two AB, I love you. You have your 20s and your 30s. Gorgeous. Hello you guys, it is the next day now. Today's Thursday. I filmed a little bit at practice yesterday and honestly, I had so much more I was supposed to do yesterday. I had a lot more I wanted to vlog and just different things I wanted to get done and then some personal stuff came up and 
I just didn't get around to doing that, unfortunately, but that's just real life. Yeah, and that's also one of the things that makes filming and vlogging and doing social media hard sometimes is because like when real life stuff does come up and then like the last thing you want to do is film yourself on camera, but you have to. Yeah, it's hard. Anyway, but today is a new day. Yeah, practice was good yesterday. I just need to take a moment to talk about how much I've been thankful for dance lately. I don't know. I have just been feeling really grateful for it recently. I just love it and it is literally therapy. It is so therapeutic to me. It's the best, like most healthy escape. I'm so happy while I'm there, regardless of what's going on outside of there. I'm moving my body. It makes me feel alive. It's literally the best therapy. And I hope and pray each of you have something like that because it keeps me sane. I'm just so grateful that God has given me something that I have that kind of passion and love for and that he's given me the opportunity to do it. I'm just feeling grateful. God's so faithful and I'm so glad to have a dance in my life. And honestly, I was thinking about it. I feel like that's one of the reasons why something with nursing with me has just like never fully clicked. I think it's because I know, as cheesy as this sounds, like I know what true passion feels like. I know what it feels like to be truly passionate about something, for it to light you up and make you feel alive. I know what that feels like with dance and then to not, like to know what that feels like and not have that same, you know, feeling with nursing. I think it just kind of like has created this disconnect for me, but you don't have to have that kind of passion towards your job. That's real life. I'm just thinking out loud. Still very grateful for nursing and for all the different opportunities with it. And that's my job. I don't have to have this overwhelming passion for it and that's okay. Yeah, I'm still proud to be a nurse. And anyway, okay, moving on now. I wanted to really quick show you guys a little haul with my Halara pants that I've been obsessed with. I wore the brown ones yesterday and then right now I'm wearing these like olive green leggings. They're so comfortable. I've been wearing all these literally every single day. I've just been rotating through them because they're so comfortable and they're the best for everyday wear and they're so versatile. Like you can wear them so many different ways. All right, I'm just gonna quickly go through them and then I'll put the specific name of them on the screen. First, I'm gonna share the flare ones because those have been my go-to lately. I could wear flare leggings every day. These are the ones I wore yesterday the ribbed crossover high-waisted flare leggings. I just can't get over the color and the ribbed material. So freaking cute for fall and winter. And then these specific flare ones have been super comfortable to wear. I really like the way these hug my body and the way they fit. These are also crossover high-waisted flare leggings. And pretty much the same thing goes for these black crossover high-waisted flare leggings. These are just a staple to have. Like you, you've got to have some of these. I got these leggings in the green that I showed you and then also this really cute pink color. So they got the crossover waist and then there's just regular leggings and they have the pockets on the side, which I love. They have a very like thin yet good quality material. Also again with the crossover just makes your waist look so snatched. These are so soft. I feel like I'm not wearing anything. Oh, I also got these ones in black because they're just a staple to have in your closet. Then these purple leggings also have the crossover waist, but they're a little different than the last leggings. I showed you all they're a little bit of a different material. I'll put the specific name of it on the screen, but they still have the side pockets. Hug your body well, flattering. These have a straight waist and they still have the pockets on the side. They're kind of more of this athletic material. So I've been loving to wear these to dance practice. I love the way they feel. Just all of these are super good quality for such an affordable price, which is the best because I hate spending a ridiculous amount of money just on like a pair of leggings or athletic gear because I wear stuff like that so much. When I'm not wearing scrubs, I'm wearing stuff like this. Like this is my everyday wear. The fact that these are genuinely a good quality, you can wear them, dance in them, sweat in them, and they're affordable under $30, a dream. I'm gonna link each of them in the description so y'all be sure to check those out. Also use my code. I have a code so you can get 20% off. It's late 35. So I'll also put that in the description. Y'all be sure to check those out. 